gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up And welcome to our channel. We are so glad all of you have been enjoying the videos that we shared from our Kenya Africa trip. So um, for those of you that might have missed it, we just returned from a trip to Nairobi, Kenya, and um, it was so much fun. We went with our tribe of many. The kids were able to enjoy time with their cousins, but also it was like their first big international trip um, that we were able to experience all together as a family. So much fun. If you somehow missed those videos, which I highly doubt that you have, but if you somehow have, please go ahead and check out the links that we have put in the description down below. Since we have been home, a lot of things have been going on. We have just kind of picked up things where we left off before we left for Nairobi. Um, and we are just enjoying our summer right now. For those of you who might be new to the channel, we are just a fun family channel, just a family of four. Uh, my husband and I, along with our two young adults, teenagers, um, we have a 16-year-old son and a 17-year-old daughter, and every day around our house is just an adventure. Whether it is just going about our day and the kids' crazy schedules right now at this time in their life, or me cooking dinner, or just enjoying ourselves as a family all together. So we'd like to welcome you to our channel, and if you have not yet done so, please make sure and hit that subscribe button along with the icon that will notify you when we post new content. So as far as things going on around here today, we have a busy week ahead actually. Um, Luke is traveling out of town for business. He's going to Manila uh, for a week and that leaves me here with Kenya and Lincoln, our two kids. And um, things I mean, have definitely changed from when the kids were younger and Luke would head out of town for long periods of time. Now that Kenya and Lincoln are of driving age, uh, it definitely helps with their busy schedule. We do have a lot of things going on. The kids, of course, have their big, busy work schedule. Lincoln is doing some summer basketball programs to help him get ready for next year. And you guys probably heard those barks. We're also watching two dogs that our very good friends own as well. So I've got them here this week. We've got some things going on on the property. I think our septic tank is gonna get emptied tomorrow. Uh, we're getting sprayed for bugs. The spiders have been bad. So they're coming. Our refrigerator needs some repair done on it. So just all the fun everyday owning a house things are going on along with just keeping schedule. So right now, um, Kenya's at work. I am dropping Luke off at the airport and I also have to drop Lincoln off at basketball. Yesterday flew by, I was able to get Luke um, to the airport, Lincoln to his basketball practice. Kenya was at work, but we are already on the next day. Um, and I have, now where are you back there? I have, Maui right here, and then there's Smith. Hi, Smith. And then way over in the corner is Wes. So um, Kenny and I just got done uh, taking them for a walk. It's fairly hot outside today, but this morning when I got up, I discovered something. So you remember yesterday when I was talking about, I just kind of start planning out in my head and we call it, in case of an emergency, well, this morning I found out we have no hot water. I don't know what's going on. I let the faucet run for probably quite a while, 10, maybe 10, 12 minutes, and no hot water. Checked all the different faucets in the house and we have none. So the good thing is we are in the middle of summer and not really needing a steaming hot shower right now, but slightly concerning just needing to know what's going on. So I'm getting ready to start troubleshooting that problem 
and seeing how I can remedy that before Luke gets back. Um, I've checked in with him. He is still on his flight to Manila. I think he had a 14 hour flight from San Francisco over to Manila. I've been able to text him a couple of times. Um, he says it's going well. He was able to sleep on the flight. So I'm glad that that is going well. But task for today is figure out the hot water situation. All right, so I have come down here to the basement and we're gonna take a look in what I call the control room here and see what we can figure out. This is the hot water heater and I don't even know if it's on. Maui and Smith have decided <laughs> to all come help. Yeah, so I've got to take a look and see what we have going on here. I love this, very self-explanatory, so nice. Um, you know, just looking at the main control panel on here, it's the color of our light here. <laughs> well, if there's no light, the control is off and the pilot is out. So that's the first thing I'm wondering. Um, pilot is out, why did the pilot go out? Um, I don't know, I'm gonna try and relight it, but we might actually have to refill our propane tank. Um, I have to check when the last time was that we filled it. So maybe that is the problem, we'll see. All right, I was able to get it relit. That's why the light is flashing. Um, I'm just gonna see and make sure it stays there. Otherwise, uh, see if it does turn red. <laughs> so there you go. First step in if your water heater is not working, make sure the pilot light is lit and then we'll go from there. Hi guys, so today I'm actually gonna be taking over the vlog a little bit and showing you something really, really cool. Um, I just discovered a new fun pastime. I really like to play with slime. I know that's um, something that a lot of uh, kids like to do today. Actually, I for a really long time didn't like slime because I thought it was sticky. I actually found this new um, this new company. Uh, one of my friends actually started it, but it is called the House of Slime and um, it creates some of the best slime I've actually ever played with. And so I've enjoyed um, playing with the slime that my friend creates and I think it's really fun. So I'm gonna show you some of that slime that we ordered today. And uh, hopefully you guys, if your kids like slime or if you like slime, then you can order it and play with it as well. Okay, so we ordered five slimes from House of Slime. If you guys are slime enthusiasts, you'll know this, but if you aren't, there's a bunch of different textures of slime. So this one is called Paris Gold. It's really fun. It's more of a clear slime. It's got some gold sparkles in it. It's really fun to knead and play with. Lincoln's actually playing. Do you want to tell them about the one you're playing with? Sure, yeah, it's a pink sand beach. I'll show you the jar in just a second. I'm trying to get it out of the jar though. There we go. Pink sand beach. Is it cloud slime? I'm not very good at slime. No, so. it's more of a clear slime actually. Um, when you play with it, and then when you mix it in a little bit, it does kind of become a little bit more cloudy, um, but originally a clear slime. Came with a couple fun little things, didn't it? Like a little message yeah. in a bottle. And then I got uh, Stars and Stripes. This one is really cool. When I first started playing with it, it was more of a, um, it was a little less mixed. So some of these have been mixed in a little bit. This is more of a cloud slime, as you can see. It mixes really nice. Uh, it came with some stars, little sparkly stars, hence the Stars and Stripes. I don't know, what one, what one is your favorite so far, Lincoln? Um, let's see the sand beach. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, and then that's the bottle that it came in. It's, it's nice and small. I'm gonna say all of them are really fun in their own way. We got two more, so this one is called Don't Worry Be Happy. It's really cute, yeah. actually. You open it up, and it is a very clear slime, like white. Not white, it is, it is see-through slime. Clear. It is actually, it's got a bunch of little smiley faces in the slime. It's it's really cool. It's super fun to, not, not as much need with clear slime because it's a little bit different than cloud slime, but you, you poke at it, it's a lot of fun, you spread it out. And then for our very last one that I'm gonna show you guys, I don't know, this one I'd say is a little bit more of 
It's a little bit more of just a reg regular slime. It's Dole Whip, actually. Yeah. Um, jar. It's got uh, it's got pineapple, so it's it's a Dole Whip scented. It smells really good, yeah, actually. Yeah, it smells it, fantastic. It's, it's one of the my favorite scents for the slime, I think. But there's little, actually, there were little pineapples you can mix into the slime, and they're like little, no no bigger than a speck of glitter. But they're really cute. When I opened it, it actually looked like Dole Whip ice cream, sort of like frothy on top, mm. and sort of like pineapple pineapple chunks on the bottom which is really fun. But this one is really, I think it's one of the best like textures of slimes because mm -hmm. it's easy to knead. It's easy to stretch, it doesn't break, which is really nice. That one's good at falling, I think. It's like very satisfying. But a big shout out to the House of Slime. We'll put thank the you link so in the description. Yeah, thank and you so much. If you guys like slime, Get it. This is like the best stuff you've ever had, guys. Bucky's is crazy because they have a lot of things that they're known for. One of the things I want to get is the brisket because I know that they're known for the brisket. So this is Bucky's. took some stuff out but we got these beaver nuggets jerky because we wanted to try jerky we really like jerky and then we each got a sandwich i think like brisket sandwiches basically Kenya, yeah, you got a cup isn't that cool look at that yeah, look at mine we got some banana pudding some fudge some cookie dough and i wanted i got one of these because i wanted to try their hot sauce carolina reaper hot sauce Ooh. so we looked up Jill looked up a list of uh, must-try food items from Bucky's, and that's kind of how uh, what guided us. And so we got most of them. There's a couple on there that we didn't get, but we got we we tried one of, one of each of the big the top ones that we knew about. So there's the brisket sandwich. Looks amazing. Okay, the brisket is really good. I gotta give it to him for gas station brisket. That's amazing. That's <laughs> it's Texas brisket. What do you expect? All right, time to try the world famous banana pudding. Mm -hmm. This is a small one, thank goodness. Oh my word. Yep, I know why that's famous. Mm -hmm. That is so, so good. I don't even really like banana pudding, but it is tasty. That is so good. Okay, Jill tried the uh, beaver nuggets. What do you think? Um, is They're really good. They're like a corn snack but they're sweet so the best thing i can explain it is just caramel corn oh yeah but now he wants some not quite like caramel so corn. you you weren't a big fan of the banana cream yeah i was i like the banana cream it takes me a minute because banana pudding is not one of my most favorite things to eat and the brisket oh my gosh brisket is amazing and we found out that the big brisket sandwich that Lincoln and I got is chopped with barbecue sauce in, yeah. in it it's, uh, and it's... the ones that Kenya and uh, Jill got are actually like sliced brisket mm -hmm. and it doesn't have um, sauce on it it was actually yeah. even better I think without the sauce yeah so I would definitely say I this is the first Bucky's I've ever been to a lot of fun I would have liked to spend more time in there because I know I didn't see everything um, we haven't tried the beef jerky yet or the fudge, but we're gonna do that a little later. But I would definitely say try the beaver nuggets, the banana pudding, and absolutely brisket sandwich. You missed the other side of the store. We kind of walked over there. Oh. It's amazing all the stuff they have over there. It's like where the clothes and the oh, wow. apparel is, and the, there's a lot of really nice stuff over there. 
Yeah, so I think later we'll try the Maybe jerky. we'll hit it on the way home. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you think of Bucky's? I love it. You sees. <laughs> We have actually come up to Red Feather Lakes um, for a family camping trip. Our summer has been so filled with our trip to Africa, coming home, doing a lot of things around our house, taking a couple other short trips, and our summer is almost gone. Uh, we're getting ready to start our homeschool uh, year here pretty quick and we wanted to get a camping trip in hopefully we're going to do some more fall camping because we haven't been able to take the camper out at all this summer so we're hoping to make that up over the fall but we decided to take one really quick trip before our summer ends and the kids start their homeschool year and so we are up here getting ready to go hike and do a little bit of fishing and just enjoy some time together in our mountains gonna climb up that. Ready? Yep. Jill, you ready? She's deciding. There goes Lincoln. I uh, can't wait to see the views when we get up there. It's gonna be pretty epic. Wow. All right, sorry for the wind, but we are up one, two flights of stairs, three, and Lincoln's having some fear of heights. <laughs> and Kenny's getting winded. All right, we made it to the top. Even Jill made it, I'm so glad you came up. I started and then I went back down, but then I came back up, so. But uh, there's somebody up here that's kind of monitoring the tower, but it is a beautiful view from up here. I mean, you feel like you're on top of the world. Actually, you can actually see, that's Wyoming out there. And that cluster of buildings out there in the distance, Jill, is uh, Laramie. Wow. And then the Rockies down there, that I'm sure Continental Divide is right up there. Probably. Yeah, that's actually Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park. Yeah. Gosh. No over there. Look at those, yeah. Um, mommy, this is, this is the Diamond Peaks. The Diamond Peaks. And, then the, and so they have like the old equipment up here. This, this thing is used to find the fires. It spins and then uh, it points to the, you point to where the hotspot is and then you can find the elevation by using this slider. But he said this is a hundred years old up here this thing and they even have a bed up here right for the uh, the guys who used to work in the watchtower and stay up here for long periods um, technically for a day for a day yeah. oh. we just saw some moose down in this valley I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on them there they are Got back down that is the tower it actually wasn't that hard to get up there once you get no, once you get up it's there mind over matter is really what it is. if you don't like heights it's a little scary i don't mind heights what about you that was fun but i'm not doing it <laughs> you wouldn't do it again what'd you think it's great i liked it i'm not afraid of heights no i'm not either i think it was fun it is really cool up there windy. great views
at our little campsite and Jill's whipping up some amazing grilled vegetables. Yum. What do we got in there? Um, everything. Red onion, mushroom, zucchini, summer squash, red pepper, bell, yellow wow. pepper, garlic. Garlic, lots of garlic, I can smell it. And then this, these are filet bites. So it's like shish kebabs, but only imagine like filet steak meat. Really tender, really good meat. And I'm gonna actually cook those on my new toy, which is a Traeger that is made for camping and or small uses, you know. This little thing packs a punch. It literally has the pellets right in there. And we grilled uh, hamburgers on here and brats last night and they were amazing. It's just like a regular Traeger, it's just a lot smaller. But very compact, easy to take with you. What are we doing over here? Somebody's practicing. Yes, I'm learning ne new songs. Never stop practicing. Nope. You gotta keep doing it, keep doing it. And you are fashioning a weapon, with a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> you found your knife. <laughs> All right, anyway, it's a great little spot here. We really like it. Um, and our, we, are, we love our camping setup. We really love our little, our camper that we have. And it has taken us a lot of places and made us a lot of good food, right? So this is the finished product on our plates. We're sitting outside. There's Jill's. What do you think? There's so the good. veggies and the meat. What do you think, hon? It looks Have amazing. you tried it yet? No, I haven't tried it. Did you try it? Is it good? There's Lincoln's. Yum. Good stuff. I love grilled food. And this is everything grilled here. <laughs> oh, we just finished eating and, or we're wrapping up. Lincoln's still eating. He's had like two or three skewers. Two, I guess. Two skewers. Can I please have a third? He wants a third. That meat turned out so good. I mean, it's just perfectly cooked. And I gotta say, that Traeger does a good job, even though it's so tiny. It, it got up to like 450 degrees. So, Kenya, did you like your veggies and your your uh, steak there? I really like the, the steak. And I'm a huge fan of veggies, and those veggies were really good. Yeah, so. they were. we did those on the cast iron griddle right there and those that always turns out good you just gotta the trick is to just let them sit and almost burn right you not burn char caramelize. caramelize and it softens the the veggies up yeah they're really soft but they have that nice caramelized uh flavor. Flavor. They're actually a little sweeter because of that it's funny how it sweetens them up but just butter that's all we did that and of course better. some seasoning jill added a bunch of seasoning but now he's kind of sad he's missing the party. He wants some food. He's, he's over in puppy jail right now. But yeah. he'll run away if he is in there. But. It's a beautiful night. It is. There's a storm back there, but it's going that way. So I'm not worried about it. And we just, we just have a sunset here. Just going behind that little cabin. That's a winning camping meal right there. Yep. Do that. I'd do that over and over again. I was also kind of healthy because no rice, no potatoes. All it is is meat. Just vegetables. vegetables and meat. Well, what's camping without a little bit of rain? Yeah. Oh, it's happening. We have our awning keeping us dry. What do you think, ladies? I love the rain. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Kenya, why do you love rain so much? It's very peaceful. And it, it to me, it's like, it, it renews, it renews the earth. Like, it, it makes, growth possible and it's not just this dry wasteland <laughs> so rain is just to me very peaceful and the sign of I guess like a new beginning I love it 
I like rain when I'm camping because I really love, I was just telling the kids, I love it when you, when it's rain real hard and you go inside your camper or your tent or whatever and you get to be in shelter. That's always fun. But this is a really peaceful rainstorm too. It's very, um, it's very uh, straight down rain, not like a blowing rain, which is nice. I'm glad we got all the stuff in where it needs to be so everything stays dry. Well, it was a really great weekend getting out to go camping. Um, we definitely found a new place in Colorado that we really like. So I definitely think we're going to be back here hopefully soon. Um, and hopefully we can get a few more fall camping trips in before it gets too cold. But we are heading back down the mountain, heading home. And tomorrow is our first day of our homeschool year. So we are really excited to get started on that. And we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our camping adventure. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.